In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the test menu as a diagnostic tool in the Base Station 1000. To do this, go to the test menu, and you'll see you've got a number of options. You can test any of the devices that you may have set up. You can also test your two wire or test all devices. I'm going to show you, uh, because all of the device tests are the same, I'm going to show you just one and uh, one or two of them, and then uh, you can go and, and look at the different options available uh, or call us if you have questions. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select which zone I want to test with my uh, up or down arrows here. You can see that the list on the left has my zone number, and I'm going to press OK. It's going to go test and it will come back with the results. Some of the options that I have available, it's going to tell me if it's OK or not. I'm going to I get the serial number, or it will come back. I'm also going to get solenoid current and voltage a two-wire voltage drop where it's applicable and device version is helpful when you're talking to support uh, which is a firmware thing uh, on our end. Now I want to show you also a moisture sensor here. If you come down to test moisture sensor I'll press OK. I only have one moisture sensor assigned in this system. Press OK to test it will come back. Now because this moisture sensor is sitting on my desk it's got a zero reading but this is how you can see at a glance what your moisture, moisture limit is currently. But again you're going to get uh, an OK whether it can communicate with it or not what the moisture sensor serial number is, my moisture limit. I'm also going to get a temperature reading for my soil. Uh, you can see that the, it's uh, thinks it's, well, it's got a uh, heat lamp on it. Uh, a spotlight for the video purposes so it's a little hotter than it normally would be. Uh, 78 degrees is what the uh, air temperature, the, the temperature sensor on the sensor says and then also to our voltage drop and a firmware version. And then uh, on the two, test two wire, I'll just show you what that looks like, press OK to go in and it's going to go test the two wire. Uh, it takes just a minute, hang tight while it's testing and it will come back with the results. You can see that it looks like everything's okay. I've got two wire voltage and current uh, as well as a controller temperature um, uh, and some other firmware versions that are available to me. And finally I want to show you test all devices. I'm going to go press OK and it's going to go and test every device that it can find on the two wire and it's configured in the system. It takes just a few minutes. You'll see here it's going to go through each of the zones and test each see each of one of them and it takes the results and puts the, puts them in a list uh, for me as you can see here it went out and it tested the two wire it was okay all of the zones came back okay now if I had something that sh had an error and it said error here instead of okay then I would go to my run screen and I would press the back button and then the down arrow to the view messages and press OK and all of my messages will it will display here and I can use my up and down arrow to see those messages and get that taken care of. That's how the test screen works in the base station 1000.